Hi, this is Ferris J, and this episode of The Thought Gardener is brought to you from outside because it's such a nice January day, I didn't want to miss out. The topic I'm going to be speaking about today is comparison-itis, and that's when we compare ourselves to others because I know it can be so detrimental to us and it's such a drain on our energies. And it's something that I have experienced personally in my own life. I have done this to myself and I know how it brings down your energy when you're looking at somebody else's journey and you're comparing it to your own, especially when you're comparing yourself negatively and it either can result in jealousy or it can result in feeling not good enough. And that's a real shame, it's just such a waste of energy. So I want to say our journeys are unique. We can't compare ourselves to anybody else. It doesn't matter if you've taken the same course as somebody, you're doing the same teachings as somebody and they're maybe having what seems to be better results than you. It's just such a way to disconnect yourself from the energy of moving forward by comparing yourself to another. Now there are of course things that we can do about it and as always EFT tapping is my number one thing to do but the first is to recognize it, the first is to recognize it and just know that you're doing it and not judge yourself for it. It's just showing where your energy is, it just means your energy is stuck in that place for some reason. And, and one other thing I will say is that if you're in a fragile place, if your self-esteem is low, you may want to back off from being in places where it's easy to compare yourselves to others. Like I'm on a lot of social media groups with some fantastic entrepreneurs and we share our wins and it's wonderful. But if I'm in a really fragile place, I'm not going to play on there so much because it can, it can trigger me if I'm seeing somebody who's had a wonderful launch or, or made lots of money or had great success that month and I felt that I hadn't. I can feel, oh is there something wrong with, have I done something wrong, what's, what's happened, why am I having that success? And that is just crushes my energy. So I know there are times that I just don't go there. So that's a practical step. If you're feeling very fragile, back off, go general, nurture yourself and then go back out into the world when you're feeling a bit more buoyant. Okay, but I will do a quick round of tapping as well because I do love the tapping and it so helps. If you're new to it, you can just tap along with me. It's so easy, you just repeat what I say and what I do. So you need to tune into your own energy first to tune into either a memory of when you were comparing yourself to others or just that feeling you get when you do it. If you do it, you, you know, you know that feeling. And I'm going to give such a simple, quick round of tapping. You can elaborate it yourself afterwards. You can rate your number, how intense that is on that scale of zero to 10. Zero being not an issue and 10 being as big as it can be now and then rate it again afterwards and see if it's gone down. Okay, so we're going to start with the setup. Even though I find myself comparing myself to others and it hurts when I feel I'm not doing as well as them, I deeply and completely love and forgive myself. Even though I find myself comparing myself to others and that hurts, I'm ready to forgive myself and move on. Even though I keep comparing myself to other people, I keep comparing my journey to theirs. And sometimes it hurts if I'm not doing as well as they are. I let myself off the hook about it now. And I honor their journey and I honor my journey and I'm willing to trust that I'm in exactly the place that's right for me even if it doesn't feel like it right now. Now we're going to go to the points. All this comparing myself to others 
it can really hurt. Even though I want them to be successful, it can just show me the gap that I'm not there yet. And it hurts to feel that I'm not there yet. And it hurts to take score like that. And I'm willing to release that feeling now. I'm willing to release this way I compare myself to others. I'm willing to let go of this comparison-itis. For it is like a disease. It doesn't help me feel good. So I'm going to let it go now. I'm going to release this comparison itis. Leave everyone else to their own journeys. And trust that mine is on the right track. Even though it doesn't feel like it sometimes. I choose to trust that it is on the right track. And I let go of any remaining worries about how I'm doing. And I let go of any remaining need or compulsion to compare myself to others. My journey is unique to me. And I allow it to be a success. In the perfect timing. I trust I'll know what steps to take. And I trust that everything is always working out for me. So take a deep breath and you can rate your number again on that scale of zero to 10. And I hope that has been useful for you. I apologize for the background noise. I have a kitten climbing the roof of my polytunnel. <laughs> Anyway, thank you very much for watching. If you've enjoyed this video, give it a like. If you want to see more, subscribe to the channel. Um, subscribe to the website to see future blogs. Thank you very much. Bye-bye.